Over the last few years, the Green Bay area has worked to increase recreational areas by expanding its trail network. Our neighborhood reporter in De Pere, Chris Lemo, caught up with one resident who was helping to improve the Fox River Trail for those who often walk and bike along the river. Well, the Fox River Trail that runs from Green Bay to just south of De Pere has been here for around two decades now. Some residents remember what it was like when the area wasn't very bikeable or walkable at all. Peter Fluke is one of those residents. He's biked all over the country, including riding the entire length of historic Route 66. He says that when he moved to the area from the Twin Cities back in the 90s, he wanted more options to safely bike or walk around local communities. There wasn't a single mile of recreational trail or bike lane in northeastern Wisconsin. That's when he decided to take matters into his own hands. There were all kinds of opportunities for trails along the Fox River Trail, the abandoned railroad quarters, and none of them had been taken advantage of. According to the Wisconsin DNR website, the land along the Fox River Trail has a long history that predates the rail line. Originally, it was used by Native Americans as a footpath between villages situated along the river. Back in the present day, Fluki says the trail is starting to show its age and they're working on a fundraiser to raise money for repairs and expansion. He also says that the heavy usage highlights the need for expansion to the south towards Greenleaf. Anybody who's used the Fox River Trail on a nice Sunday or Saturday afternoon knows that it's getting busy. Scott Steno is the owner of the bike hub in De Pere. He's lived in the Green Bay area for almost all of his life and has seen how the Fox River Trail has brought a large increase in interest. We have a lot of great roads for riding around, um, around the area, but a lot of people don't want to be on the road. They'd rather be on a, a path in which they know that there's no traffic. Fluki and the rest of the Friends of the Fox River Trail are hoping to raise $300,000 in the next six months to help fund the expansion and improvement to the trail. In De Pere, Chris Lemo, NBC26. According to the Brown County website, if you're interested in going on the trail, trail hours are from 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. and a trail pass is required for anyone over 16 years old to use the trail for bicycling, inline skating, skateboarding and horseback riding, but walking is free.